Kaisenat has just bought one of Unitree's robots for about $70,000. And I know some of you are wondering why the hefty price tag when Unitree was advertising it for $16,000. In this video, I'm going to explain why there's such a big difference in price and dive into the features of this robot. Is it autonomous? Can it speak? What can you use it for as of now and more? By the way, I'm using 11 labs for voice generation, but don't worry, it doesn't affect the quality of the video in any way. So do me a favor and hit that sub button. First off, Unitree has several iterations of this robot and the $16,000 version is the base model, essentially the entry level option. But as you start adding more advanced features to it, the price goes up like crazy as if they are using Apple Math by Samtime. What Kai Sinat bought is the G1 EDU Ultimate CU5 model, which is currently the most expensive iteration of the G1 series. So what makes this version so special? Just out of the box, the robot weighs 35 kilograms or 77 pounds, which is a little bit heavy for any person if you try carrying it around or holding it up for a long time. And you can even hear Kai Sinat saying that it is heavy in the video. But let's start with the basics. The G1 EDU Ultimate C is a humanoid robot designed for a wide range of applications, particularly in sports and other dynamic environments. It boasts an impressive 41 degrees of freedom, which gives it an incredible range of motion. For comparison, a single leg has six degrees of freedom, the waist has one with optional additional degrees, each arm has five, and each hand has seven. The hands are particularly advanced with two Inspire five-finger hands that have stiff fingers. But you can buy a three-fingered, dexterous design that includes force control and optional tactile sensors. This allows for precise and delicate manipulation of objects, almost like a human hand. When it comes to movement, it has industrial-grade crossed roller bearings in its joints, which provide high precision and load capacity. The joints are powered by low inertia, high-speed internal rotor permanent, magnet synchronous motors, which offer better response speed and heat dissipation. The knee joint, for example, can deliver a maximum torque of 120 Newton meters, and the arm can handle a load of up to three kilograms. The robot's legs are about 0.6 meters long, and its arm span is around 0.45 meters, giving it a compact yet powerful build. The biggest question on everyone's mind is whether this robot is autonomous. Sadly, as of now, it's not. The G1 EDU is primarily controlled via a manual remote, but there's hope for the future. With over-the-air updates, Unitree could potentially add autonomous capabilities down the line. So, while it's not self-driving just yet, there's a possibility it could be in the future. Tesla fans knows this too well. Another interesting feature is the robot's ability to speak, or rather, its potential to speak. The G1 EDU comes equipped with a four microphone array and a five watt speaker, but out of the box, it doesn't actually talk. But since this is the EDU version, it's designed for development and customization. You could theoretically load it with something like ChatGPT or Gemini and program it to interact with you verbally. In terms of power, it's powered by a 13 string lithium battery with a capacity of 9,000 milliamp hours which gives it a battery life of about two hours. It also features a local air cooling system to keep things running smoothly, even under heavy loads. The robot's computing power is handled by an eight core high performance CPU, and it even supports an optional NVIDIA Jetson Orin module for advanced computing tasks. This makes it capable of handling complex computations in real time, which is essential for tasks like environmental interaction and object manipulation. Speaking of environmental interaction, the G1 EDU is equipped with a depth camera and 3D LiDAR for advanced sensing. This allows it to navigate and interact with its surroundings with a high degree of precision. It also has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 for seamless connectivity, making it easy to integrate into existing systems or networks. One of the standout features of the G1 EDU is its flexibility for secondary development. Unitree has made it clear that this robot is designed to be tinkered with. They provide comprehensive technical support, detailed development manuals, and ongoing ecological support to help users get the most out of the platform. Whether you're a researcher, developer, 
or just a robotics enthusiast, the G1 EDU offers a lot of room for customization and experimentation. On what you can do with this robot as of now, sadly, there's not a lot that it can do for you. Other than for show off, maybe it can help you carrying some heavy items. And also since this is an EDU version, you can play around with it to make it customizable to some of your use cases. And of course, if you see this robot, the way it moves around and all that, it looks very different from what we see in Unitree videos. It could be that this models were made a long time ago, or maybe people operating them are not as good as Unitree's team, but for sure there's some difference. Lately, Unitree has advanced this robot and given it some new abilities like whole body movement, running, and it can even play football as of now. Let me leave you with a clip of another iteration of this robot called the Unitree G1 Comp, which is meant for football.